The first time I heard about Arnold is when the producer of Hercules in New York came to me. I had directed a play in New York that this gentleman, whose name was Willard Goodman, was one of the producers of. And he came to me and said that he was doing a film, which was a comedy, a spoof on the Hercules movies. And it was going to star Mr. Universe, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I must admit that was the, since I was not at the time a, a fan of bodybuilding or any of that world, that was the first time I heard Arnold's name. And I met him in a coffee shop on 72nd Street in Amsterdam Avenue, I think, in New York, and we had breakfast together. He ate a lot more than I did. Well, the first time I met Arnold actually was on a, a trip on a junket to Cannes. Um, around 1990, um, and it was just meeting, you know, and there he was with, with his wife and, and a couple of children, and we, we all made a trip to France. It was during the festival. He was Arnold, you know. My God, he's Arnold. It's big. J'avais vu uh, Conan le Barbare. Je suis pas sûr d'avoir vu Conan le Destructeur, mais peut-être. Et... Uh, je me suis toujours demandé, en fait, c'est toujours, toujours curieux de voir ou de savoir quelle est la distance des gens par rapport à ce qu'ils font. Euh, Conan le barbare, c'était quand même très efficace. Euh, ça, ça, ça évoquait quand même cette BD euh, que j'avais lue. Donc j'étais assez curieux de ce mec. Euh, je, en, en plus, on a quand même un, un a priori idiot qui est plus il y a de muscles, moins il y a de cerveau. Euh, euh, et et en fait, ce type se révèle très chaleureux dès le départ. Un ami de moi, George Butler, un documentary filmmaker, m'a montré un rough cut de pumping iron. Il travaillait sur ça à New York, où je vivais. Et il voulait juste avoir l'input sur l'éditing. Et j'ai vu ce personnage amazing character on the screen for the first time um, and I said to uh, someone who was sitting next to me in that summer uh, there must be some vehicle for this guy Arnold Schwarzenegger and he this fellow was named Ed Summer he had a comic book gallery in Super Snipe gallery in New York which was backed by George Lucas and he said that's uh, Conan of course I said what's Conan So he took me to his store, and there were all these paintings by Frank Frazetta, the covers of the Robert E. Howard books, and the comic books as well. But those paintings by Frazetta were Arnold. I think the first film that I saw of Schwarzy, I think it was Commando, which was also the first time that my parents me let me go to go alone to the cinema. They said, it's the first film that you will go to alone. You will take the bus to go to Toulouse to go to the film at the cinema. I will have 12 13 years old. And I said, I will go to Commando. Et j'ai revenu de commando en trouvant que c'était juste le meilleur film du monde. Je crois que c'est le premier film où j'ai vraiment fait attention à Schwarzenegger en tant que star et en tant que comme d'action, euh, euh, enfin comme star fantasmatique on va dire. The thing about Arnold, from the very beginning, he was thoroughly professional. I mean, he, he came to work every day to work. Um, he was not trying to, uh, to coast on his position as Mr. Universe, because he was, I mean, he was a major star in that world. Uh, but he was thoroughly professional. He took my direction in terms of the performance with great equanimity and, and generosity, and really worked hard to do it well. Donc Schwarzenegger arrive, il, est, il, il connaît son texte, euh, il, a, il, il, il est très agréable, il est à l'heure, euh, donc il n'y a pas de souci. Donc c'est évidemment très très agréable de travailler avec lui. The same kind of discipline that would make somebody the greatest bodybuilder that ever lived, he applied to his work. So he, he was an incredibly hard worker, really prepared. Um, has very strong opinions. I thought it would be fun. I didn't really worry about the emotion because Hercules wasn't very emotional, as we all know, having met Hercules. Um, so the emotion was not, was not a 
you know, it was not a plus or a minus. And I knew he could be charming and fun. And his English was, was good enough, and the accent was controllable enough. Now, the first time the film was released, as you probably know, the producers at the time, in their infinite wisdom, thought that they would change his name. So the film was released initially, and Arnold became Arnold Strong. Uh, they had to really dig deep to come up with that word. But he was Arnold Strong with, uh, with his voice dubbed by uh, an American actor. Later, when Arnold became Arnold, uh, they found the original track, put that back, and put his name back to his real name. The first Conan didn't have a lot of words. And, uh, the, and, and the accent sort of fit this uh, prehistoric period in a way. So I, I think John Milius did mold it for, uh, for Arnold. 10 to 1, he doesn't speak English. Captain Danko? Yes. I'm Detective Sergeant Gallagher, Chicago Police Department. Glad to meet you. Thank you. Oh, well, this is my partner, Detective Sergeant Ritzik. First time in Chicago? Yes. You have a nice flight? Yes, fine. He used to tease me about it all the time, and I used to tease him about it all the time. And there was one scene that on the street in which um, there's an assassination attempt, and that it begins a very elaborate sequence with helicopters and all that stuff. And I wanted to cue all the people involved in the street by firing a gun. So, and our, and I, the company was sitting behind me and all the cameras are trained on the, on the actors. Arnold was not in the shot. And I raised the gun and I fired it and everybody did everything and, and the take worked. And there was a long pause and then Arnold shouted out, that's what I like to see, a Democrat with a gun. For Arnold and I had a deal, and it worked, and the deal was I'll try anything you want to do as long as you also do the things I want to do, and then we'll see which works. And sometimes he was right, sometimes I was right. I asked Arnold um, to show me some, uh, some tricks he could do with his body, and if, you, if you've seen the film, there was that fun cut of him flexing his butt, yes, um, which I didn't think was appropriate for Hercules. Uh, but but there were other parts of his body that that he could make bounce and uh, and jump around, which we did use. Arnold is somebody who's involved in a film, and and uh, as any movie star is. And I guess my one of my fondest memories was, um, I did a very lengthy close up of Arnold, and it, it the scene takes place early in the film, and Arnold watched, looked at the playback and then just stood up and said, ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to say that is the best close-up of me I've ever seen in my life. La meilleure prestation de Schwarzenegger, pour moi, c'est le film où il sonne le plus juste, où il est à sa place, parce qu'il faut quand même arriver à le caser dans un film. Hein. Schwarzenegger, c'est pas, en général, c'est pour ça que les films se taillent autour de, se, se, se font autour de lui et pas, et pas l'inverse, quoi. Euh, et d'ailleurs, en fait, je pense que le film en question, c'est Predator, je pense que le film en question, a été, à la base, est taillé pour lui. C'est-à-dire que euh, le film, il est pensé de, de manière à dire, on va foutre Schwarzenegger qui est comme une masse, quoi. Qui est plus fort que Schwarzenegger Il n'y en a pas sur Terre, donc on va le chercher, on va le chercher dans l'espace et, euh, et, euh, et c'est un Predator, quoi. Ça n'empêche pas, en fait, euh, les subtilités pour autant. Et, euh, et notamment, en fait, le fait qu'il arrive à retranscrire euh, la peur. Euh, de façon vraiment, euh, je trouve, euh, euh, crédible, quoi. Le truc avec, euh, avec Schwarzenegger, c'est qu'effectivement, en fait, il a, une, il a une, un physique de héros. C'est-à-dire qu'on va dire plus grand que nature. C'est ça, le truc. C'est que tu penses à lui, tu te dis, mais il est fort, il est baraqué, donc c'est le, le héros, quoi. Conan le barbare n'aurait pas été Conan le barbare sans Schwarzenegger. C'est-à-dire, ce, ce, euh, 
il euh, y, y a quelque chose qui contribue euh, euh, à tout. Euh, il y contribue, quoi. Moi, je trouve qu'il n'a juste jamais été à sa place, enfin, plus à sa place que dans, que dans Conan, quoi. Mais il a, il a eu cette capacité à, à, à réellement créer une évolution. Donc, moi, c'est ça que j'aime dans le film. Si tu veux, c'est qu'au départ, il a ce côté euh, grosse bête euh, débile qui ne sait pas parler, qui ne sait pas se tenir, qui est, euh, qui est, qui est, qui est tout bourrin. Et, euh, et plus il avance dans le film, plus il gagne en confiance, plus il devient majestueux, plus il devient épique, pour au final, euh, malgré tout, réussir à être totalement crédible sur le trône en vieux roi fatigué. Euh, moi, je trouve que tout ça, euh, on le doit à Nibus aussi, mais je trouve que Schwarzy était vraiment parfait. incredibly smart. He had made an absolutely brilliant career out of, out of being underestimated. He loved, loved, I think since he's governor, it's different, except he loved being underestimated. So he's, you know, he would do something and he'd say, what do you expect from me? I'm, I'm just a dumb Austrian farmer. I mean, he loves that. I wouldn't cast him as Macbeth. But, uh, but he certainly knows what he's doing, and he knows, he knows what he can do. That's one of the pleasures of working with Arnold, and I think it's probably been the case not only for me as his first director, but for all the subsequent directors. Arnold knows what fits into his, into his world, into what he can accomplish successfully. You're not going to catch Arnold attempting to do something which he cannot do well. I certainly knew that he ha had ambitions to be successful. I mean, I remember uh, in that first breakfast we had, I asked him why he had decided to move to the States, and he said to make money. And he was very forthright and, and direct about it. And Lord knows he has done that. But he had a, a very focused ambition. He was very uh, uh, ambitious that way, he, he felt. Uh... He saw this as his big shot, and he, would, he went all out in every way to, to make it successful. What are you trying to prove? Uh, Joey, this is uh, Max Keller. Max takes care of things, all kinds of things. Trying to prove that maybe you can use me? For what? To take care of things, all kinds of things. That job's filled. I'm sure a smart man like Mr. Rocker is always looking to upgrade. I'm the best there is. Max, if you're the best there is, the wheel would have never been invented. <laughs> How'd you know I was looking for somebody? I didn't. I thought I might get lucky. I, I, I've never been surprised at any achievements of Arnold's. I, I knew in my own mind, once he set his mind to it, that he, he would go far, and I, I was aware of his political uh, ambition early on. He was, he had a, a, a lot of charity work he was doing, and I think uh, his marriage to Maria uh, put him right in the, in, in the center of a political environment. And so uh, Arnold always rises to the top. I n never would have guessed that Arnold, w even though he was charming and fun and delightful, I never would have guessed that Arnold would become a major film star, and Lord knows I certainly wouldn't have guessed he'd become governor of California. He's proof positive. You know, I mean, here's a guy who wanted to be the best bodybuilder in the world, and then of all things decided to be the biggest movie star in the world, which is very difficult, A, when you're speaking with a thick Austrian accent, and B, when you're kind of exotic looking, and he succeeded in that. And then he decided to have the single most powerful political office in the most populous state in the United States, and he's done that. So, <clears throat> I don't know, if Arnold says he's gonna go to Mars, I wouldn't doubt him. Yeah.